Hey friends, I'm so excited to have you here again. And today's practice is called Rest Makes Us Holy. Um, I have a Spotify playlist that you can pull up on your phone or device while you're doing this practice or just throw on some music. Um, this is a perfect practice to wake up to, a perfect practice to do in the middle of the afternoon like I'm doing when you're really tired <laughs> and just a great time to rest in the Lord and get some good yoga in. Um, so grab your mat, lay on a comfy pillow, lay on your comfy bed, on the floor, a towel, whatever you have. Um, and also if you have some pillows or a block, go ahead and grab them. You might want to use them today. If you don't have any of those things, a book works great um, or we can just go roll without it. So um, go into something comfy that fits you, maybe some loose pants um, like I have on here or your PJs if you're just waking up. And let's begin, friends. All right, let me just pray for us as we begin. Um, let's go ahead and lay down all the way in corpse pose. So if you watched my first video, you know that's like the best yoga pose. And I got a little nice shade here. Um, so just relax, melt into the earth and feel, feel the weight of being held by the Lord and this beautiful earth he created for us and the gravity that lets us sink into it. So let me just pray. Uh, Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for all these beautiful souls watching and I just pray that they would receive your rest right now and just breathe in this truth that rest makes us holy. Um, that you have called us to rest and you yourself rest. And just pray that we'd embrace those truths as we practice and write these truths into our body in restful postures. And just um, thank you for Jesus and his sacrifice that he made for us, that we can come and unite and live, have your spirit live within us. And it's in his name I pray. Amen. All right, so I want you to extend your arms up like you're stretching. You just first woke up if you like you just for first woke up or if you really did just first wake up, just stretch, lengthen through your fingertips. You can grab your fingers here, um, lengthen out, lengthen through your toes. You can point your toes or flex them or wiggle them, whatever feels good. Beautiful. And then I want you to extend over um, to the left first. So walk your heels over to the left edge of your mat or just the left side of your body, keeping your hips where they are. And then your arms over to the left too. So you can grab your left hand into your, sorry, grab your right wrist with your left hand and extend over. So we're going to feel a nice stretch along our side body here. And if you want, to customize this for your body to feel a little deeper stretch. Maybe you're doing this afternoon, you're already warmed up a little bit um, and you just need to fight that sleepiness you have. So go ahead and cross your right ankle on top of your left to get that further deepening stretch. Good, and I just want you to relax here while I read this verse over you. God spoke to Moses, tell the Israelites above all, keep my command, keep my Sabbath. The sign between me and you, generation after generation, to keep the knowledge alive that I am the God who makes you holy. Keep the Sabbath. It is holy to you. Beautiful. Now we're going to do the same thing on the right side. So walk your heels over to the right side. And then grab your left wrist with your right fingers and just lengthen over. We're making a little C shape here. You can cross that left ankle over your right ankle if you'd like. Beautiful. And breathe again. And I'm going to read Ephesians 2, 8 to you as you're continuing to breathe and rest into this lengthening. For grace, you have been saved. But let me try again. <laughs> For by grace, you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God. Beautiful. Now I want you to come back to center. We're going to draw your knees up into your chest, both of them. 
and you can just gri grab the top of your shins or the lower under part of your thighs. And again, as we spoke about in my first video, if you haven't watched that already, I encourage you to start there. Um, maybe you pause this video and come back to it. Um, if not, we're just going to honor our bodies, respect where our abilities are today. And so just go where you need to go. Um, I'm a guide, but you do not need to match my body. I have a different body than you. And let's respect the beautiful bodies we have today. Um, so we're going to do what's called a spinal twist. So we're going to drop the left leg down and reach with your left hand to the outer right thigh. And we're going to pull it gently, not pull it, sorry. We're gently soften it over to the left side, keeping your right shoulder on the ground. And you can have your left hand on your thigh or your hip bone. And then extend your right arm out um, to your side. And you can look over your right arm if you like. Keep your head straight up, whatever feels good to you. Beautiful. Just take a few deep breaths here. Try and soften through the glutes. You don't want anything clenching. We're, we're just relaxing right now into so these poses, resting resting into them. Beautiful, come back to center. Bring both knees up together. Extend the right leg straight down to the floor with your right hand on your outer left thigh. Bring it over to your right side of your body and twist and then keeping that left shoulder rooted into the ground and that left arm extended long next to you. And you can look over that left shoulder if you like, or you can um, keep your head looking straight up and just rest here while I read Exodus 31, 17. It is a sign forever between me and the people of Israel that in six days, the Lord made heaven and earth. And on the seventh day, he rested and was refreshed. On the seventh day, he rested, was refreshed. Oh, friends, I just love that God himself rested. Rest isn't something we need to feel us for work, but it's the very life of our being. I love that this verse reminds us that rest creates refreshment. Okay, let's come back to center, bringing those knees back up to you and then knees into your chest. Beautiful. Now, if you can kick that block towards you or that pillow, whatever you have. <laughs> and um, we are going to put it right underneath our, um, uh, just above our sits bones, like in uh, not your low back, but a little bit low on your hip your hip points down here. So go ahead and slide that underneath you and you are going to feel low, juicy, juicy release underneath your low back. And if you are, um, you've already done some yoga today and you just, you just need a little extra energy today, I encourage you to go into a full bridge pose. So if you would like to do that and that's customized and that's restful for your body right now and the energy you need, um, I encourage you to think about your ankles underneath your knees. And if you're not going into bridge pose, we're in what's called supported bridge, keeping your ankles over your knees. Right, let me start over. Okay, now we're gonna come into what's called um, supported bridge pose. So bringing your heels close to your sits bones, they, and you don't really, they don't have to touch, just three or four inches away. And you basically want your ankles and your knees to be in alignment. And then I want you to snuggle your shoulders underneath so like you feel like your shoulder blades are gonna kiss together and your collarbones nice and open, keeping that engagement in your belly button and your ribs knit together. And you place your palms up. If you have your pillow or your block, let's go ahead and snag it. And you can place it underneath your, um, just a little above your tailbone there and just rest into that. Um, just find what feels comfortable there. You don't want it in the arch of your back so that your tailbone sinks down, that'll hurt your low back. But you want it supporting your tailbone there. Beautiful, and you can rest here. Now, if you just need a little extra today, you need a little boost of energy, we're gonna go into full bridge pose. If not, 
please stay here, honor your body, respect it. Respect the ability you have right now and the rest your body is calling for that it needs. But if it needs a little boost of energy, we're gonna go into full bridge pose. So keeping those shoulder blades snuggled underneath, engaging with your core, still engage, and not your glutes. We're gonna lift up with a strength, the top of our thighs and our abdomen, and lift up into bridge pose. Continue to think about a um, juicy peach right here. You don't want to squish it. You don't want to get juice all over you. And you don't want to let it roll away. So keeping that chin pointing toward the sky and chest towards the chin, even that engagement, make sure just go ahead and feel your glutes. Are they a little bit loose? You don't want to tight. And we want to engage the core here. Beautiful. And you can snuggle those shoulder blades a little under and you can Move that block if you're up here and interlace the fingers and push into the floor to get a little length on an inhale and exhale. Let's all release, remove that block if that's there still. Beautiful. And now we're gonna come into what's called bound angles. So go ahead and roll up and grab those pillows if they're not nearby, mine are not. So I got two little pillows for my couch. <laughs> and um, then we're gonna come to put our feet together and um, and then your, your knees apart from each other, what's called reclined bound angle. And then you can gently roll back down, walking in your elbows down to your back. And if this feels too vulnerable to you, feel free to release it and just come to touching your feet on the outside edges of your mat and your knees in together. And what all we're doing is just releasing that low back there. So either, either posture is perfect for releasing the low back and, um, just releasing the energy. And I just have one more thing I wanna to read to you here while you're relaxing and breathing into this pose. The Hebrew word for Sabbath is Sabbath. Uh, excuse me if I'm pronouncing that way wrong. <laughs> which is the root word of Sabbath, which means to cease, to rest, and even to celebrate. I just love that the word Sabbath and this commandment to Sabbath. Um, that God called the Israelites and even practiced himself after creating, creating everything. <laughs> um, that it means to rest, to cease, to stop. Uh, um, whatever word just resonates with you to celebrate. Such, such beautiful word um, and such a beautiful practice. So right now, as you're continuing to rest into this posture or whichever posture you're in, as you just, just rest with the Lord, just be with him. Good, and beautiful way you can rest. Here's full belly breathing. So feeling your belly get expand and contract, not just in your ribs, but in your belly. You can put your hands in your belly so you just feel it. Relax those shoulders. Two more breaths. I know you want to say it all day. I do too, friends. I do too. So let's roll to one side. Or if it's in your practice, you can do what's rock and roll. So I'm going to show roll to one side. And then push yourself up to seated. Or if you're needing that burst of energy or to get some energy. Oh, hey, little ladybug. There's a ladybug spinning in circles on me. Uh, encourage her to get on the grass there. <laughs> all right, so back to rock and roll. This is a rock and roll. So all you're doing is rocking and rolling. Make sure you curve your spine just a little bit so you don't hurt that low back. And then we're gonna come into boat pose. So if you know boat pose, then rock and roll straight into it and hold it there, be my guest. If not, we're gonna come to place the feet on the ground. That sits bones, you can release them out underneath you if you need to and then your heels in line with your hip points, okay? So not too wide and not too narrow, but keep them in line with your sis boats. Let's place the um, hands underneath the underneath 
part of your thighs and lengthen through the crown of your spine, engaging that pelvic button, softening the tailbone down, drawing the shoulders back, ears over the shoulder, ribs knit together, and engage those inner thighs. So don't clutch up here in your quads. We're gonna engage the inner thighs. Beautiful, and lengthen here. And if this is burning and you're shaking, let's respect your body and just stay here. If you would like a little more of a customization to, to just um, deepen, get some more energy for your day, if you need a rest, this is about rest, this isn't about pushing today. You can lift your heels up or you can lift your feet up, let go of your hands or extend fully. Either way, wherever you go, engage that belly button. You don't want it to pooch out. You want it to stay engaged. So let's stay here for two, three breaths. And then wherever you're at, just honor your body. The main point is to keep that length through the spine. You don't want to curve here. It needs to stay straight. So if you get up here and you start to curve, that's your edge you need to pull back. Okay, let's respect our bodies and love them well. So let's lift up. Beautiful. And then on an exhale, we're gonna come into what's called staff pose. So I want you to extend your legs out straight and um, um, flex your feet up and then engage your, your, all your muscles here on your legs. So this is not a passive pose. And again, that lengthening through the crown of your spine, you can have a slight bend in your knees if you need to. You can have, um, a block underneath your tailbone if you need to. Whatever your body needs today to get rest and uh, fight that fatigue. So let's get up and do our arms up. And then we're gonna hinge right here at the hip point, joint. We're not hinging here. And we're gonna aim for our belly button on our thighs, not need a nose. Forget that, whoever told you that. <laughs> if you learned that growing up as I did. Thigh and belly together, so inhale up, exhale, lengthen. And then you can come to release your hands down. They can be underneath your thighs, they can be underneath your calf, they can be resting on the floor, you can grab the balls of your feet. All the point is I want you to lengthen through your whole vertebrae. I want everything long, no curving, okay? So if you feel a tendency to curve, pull back. This is a wonderful forward fold, okay? This is wonderful. If you have really tight hamstrings, give a juicy bend in the legs and just stay here, leaning forward, keeping that engagement, keeping that alignment. And then you can bow your head if you just wanna relax. Even better, grab some of your pillows, tuck them under, grab your block, turn it on your side and stick it there and rest. Mm-hmm. This is beautiful. This is a little bit of a restorative posture. Even in this restorative posture, you wanna keep that length. So grab as many pillows as you need to to make this alignment stay and just rest here. Embrace the fact that rest brings us holiness, that we're made holy in our rest, not in our striving. Our culture tells us so much to work harder, to try harder, and then you'll be sanctified and then you'll be the perfect Christian and then you'll love God with all your heart, with your whole being. But he tells us right here in Exodus 31, rest, friends, makes us holy, rest. Beautiful, let's come back up, keeping those pillows nearby if you want, if you need to rest today and you don't want us to stretch too much. So we're gonna extend the left leg out and we are going to tuck the right knee in. Beautiful. And now we're going to be twisting our hip points towards that left leg here. Um, so you can have your left leg in a little bit in, or you can have it off your mat, whatever feels good to your body, okay? So I'm gonna have mine in. My hips are still pretty tight. I haven't opened them much today. So again, grab your pillows. You can tuck them underneath you here if you like. And we are going to extend long up, lengthening through the spine and hinging at the hips and coming straight forward. Again, you don't have to do with this pillows if you don't want to. And then you can relax your head down. It's okay to have a little curve right here as you're resting. But the curve you don't want is in your back here. You keep that nice and long, engage that belly button. And I just want you to encourage you to find something here that you can rest in. 
whether it's just physically letting go of clenching in your jaw, dropping that tongue down from the roof of your mouth, relaxing the furrow on your brow, just taking a nice juicy belly breath. Beautiful. Let's walk our hands back up and let's go to the other side. We'll stick our right leg out, our left leg to the inner part of our thigh. And again, if you know, if this isn't accessible to you, it's perfectly acceptable to have it on your calf. Um, something else that you could do too, I apologize, I didn't mention this earlier, is grab a third pillow or your block, is just prop your leg up on it. So, or your block. So this just, just helps you relax into that outer hip a little more. All the props, props are wonderful. <laughs> Don't be afraid to use them if you go practice yoga anywhere else or with any yoga, other yoga instructors. Uh, so let's come into the other side. I'm gonna use my pillows again, cause I love pillows. I love restorative yoga actually. <laughs> this is a combination of ones. So let's inhale up, arms up and exhale. Lengthen through the crown of your spine. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold a little deeper. Now, same thing as we did on the other side. I want you to continue that length. So your spine, no bending here. And through the low spine here, we wanna keep it nice and long. And then exhale, you can round the neck just a little bit to bow your head out. And I want you to release, release something again, your glutes, your inner thighs. Ah, your sits bones, your jaw, your brow. You can smile a little if you need to. <laughs> Feels good to rest, doesn't it? I just want more rest. Don't we all? Let's take three more rounds of breaths here. Beautiful, and walk your hands up. And now, um, let's come into simple seated. And um, so this is just crisscross applesauce. <laughs> if you've heard that before, your legs crossed. Again, if you need some extra support today, you're just like, I don't wanna go in that pose. Stick a block underneath your sits bones and pillows underneath your knees. Oh, feels so good. Uh, and just continue to keep that alignment though, even though this just feels juicy and relaxing. Keep that alignment through the crown of your spine and those shoulders soften down, those ears over the shoulders. Beautiful. And now um, I just want you to sit with your thoughts and just rest with the Lord here for just a minute. And you can do some nice belly breathing, expanding through the belly and not the upper chest. Just feeling your belly get expand and you inhale and contract when you exhale. And you can put your hands down to let go of something that's not giving you rest in your life. Ask the Lord right now, what is something you need to let go of that's not serving you, that's keeping you from rest with Him, keeping you from your holiness with Him. Or place your palms up if you just need to receive, receive His rest, receive His love, receive His sanctification that He promises to each of us through the power of His Spirit. Do two more rounds of breath here. Beautiful. Now we're gonna do just two more stretch, a couple more stretches here. All right, inhale the right arm up, left hand down on your right next to your sits bones. You can remove the block here if you need to. 
Inhale, lengthen, exhale, just bend, and we're stretching the side body some more. You can lick your hand up, just turn your neck. No, don't tilt it this way, just turn it up or down, or just straight ahead. Soften that shoulder, keep a little bend in the elbow. It doesn't need to be straight because it usually lengthens our shoulder too much. The point's not to touch the floor, the point's just to lengthen that side body. Inhale up, other side. Keeping those sits bones down if you do. There's a tendency for this to happen. <laughs> Keep it down. Just embrace resting. Beautiful, let's come up. We're gonna place our um, left hand on your right knee. Inhale up, exhale, we're gonna twist. So we start at the belly, then the ribs, then the shoulders, okay? Don't do the shoulders first, belly, ribs, shoulders. And inhale, we're gonna lengthen through the counter spine. Same thing, no rounding, you wanna keep that length up. Inhale up, exhale, twist a little further. Don't use the power of your hands, we're resting into this twist, we're not pushing. Okay, inhale up, exhale, twist. Beautiful, let's come out of that, back to center. Now your right hand on your left knee, inhale up, Exhale, twist. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. You feel your hand clenching, you know, you're pushing, resting, friends, resting, not, not striving. Beautiful. I just want you to roll out the shoulders a little bit and do some neck rolls too, whatever feels good. Just release whatever tension's left in your body and I encourage you now to stay here for our final resting time if you need to. Um, or you can come into child's pose or you can go back to corpse, whatever feels good. I'm gonna go ahead and go down into child's pose. This hurts your knees. You can come and double tap your mat, grab a blanket under here. Probably don't do a block or a pillow. That's gonna to be too much for the rest of your body to get out of alignment. Or you can tuck your toes too, or just go back to corpse pose, lay all the way on your back. You know, whatever you need to do, friend, to respect and love your body today. So come to your knees. Your knees can come in together or go completely wide, okay? Whatever feels good. I like to stay center with my knees and then sit back onto your heels and then extend your arms out really long, laying your belly right on the top of your thighs and then your chest towards your knees and then resting your head down to the floor, extending your arms long, beautiful. Let's inhale, lengthen, exhale, release. And again, that posture with your hands, if there's anything else you and the Lord need to work through, if you need to let go of anything, let it go into the earth, let it go into his creation, into his hands. Um, if you need to receive something from him, receive more rest, open those palms up. Or if you just wanna interlace your hands and clasp them together and just imagine the Lord just embracing your hands, saying, I got you. I have you in this. I have rest for you. I have holiness for you. I have intimacy with you. Rest and trust me, my, my dear beloved. Father, I just thank you so much for this time with all these beautiful people. Lord, may they just receive greatly from this practice and Learn to rest, Lord. It is such a hard thing for us to do. We want control. We want to strive. We want to earn your love. Lord, we know it is nothing we earn. Our salvation is yours. And we only receive it by resting in you and having faith in you. And Lord, I just pray that we would come to take this practice with us in our daily lives to know that when we start to feel anxious and troubled and worried, that it's a sign that we need rest. We need rest with you. Lord, may we all just bring rhythms into our lives too to practice Sabbath, to practice days and intentionalities of rest. Um, we need it so much, Lord. And thank you for this commandment, for this truth that rest brings us holiness. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 
All right, friends, feel free to stay in corpse pose, as child's pose, as long as you need. I give you full permission to stay there as long as you have time for. Um, and just return to this practice if you, when you're, when you're waking up and you need to fight a little bit of fatigue, or if you just need to embrace rest um, in the afternoon. I just encourage you, this is a great flow to help you get energy back and remember that truth that life's not about striving. Um, that's the freedom of the gospel. We get a rest, we get a receive. Thank you, Lord, for that. Um, I would love your support and continue to do these videos. So um, follow the description below YouTube and um, you can learn how to support my family and I as we're continuing to do this and a uh, podcast of meditations that will be rolling out soon with my husband that will help you get deeper into your quiet time with the Lord and just to sit and receive with him. Um, there'll be guided meditations. So um, feel free to stay tuned for that. Join my newsletter to keep posted when I uh, announce new videos. And I'm so excited to practice with you guys. We'll see you again soon. Bye.